In this video, I will show you some of my favorite free online resources that you should know and use in order to improve your Norwegian. I cannot emphasize enough the importance of using a dictionary when you learn a language. And here is my favorite Norwegian dictionary. Uh, this dictionary is made by the University of Bergen. And here is how it works. So if, for example, I forgot the gender of some noun, I can just write this noun here, like this. And here, here we go. So right next to this word, I have masculine and feminine. So this word is either masculine or feminine, which is known as a common gender. Right? On the left side, by the way, is ukmol and on the right is nynorsk. So you can just choose one of them. Here, if I want to know how this word conjugates, I'll just press on one of these letters and here we go, masculine. En lampe, lampen, lampe, lampene, and feminine. I lampe, lampa, lamper, lampene. So this is how it works. And I can just give an example of a verb. So, verb lage. I, for example, I am in doubt uh, about how this verb is conjugated. So, here I have it. Verb. And you see infinitive, lage, presence, lager, preteritum, laga, laget, lagde. So, the three, these three forms are accepted in bookmall, and you can choose which one you want to use. And the same thing about presence perfectum, har laga, har laget, har lagd. So, all of them um, are possible in bookmall. Yeah? The same thing we can apply to adjectives. For example, one of my favorite adjectives is adjective liten. And here we go. I press on this letter and look at this. Look at this beautiful variation. Liten for masculine, lita for feminine, lite for neutral, and so on. You have all the forms. So please use this dictionary as often as possible. The second resource that I want to show you is this one. Uh, it's Honbuk i Grammatik or Språkbruk. And this is just a website with a lot of exercises, grammar exercises. Like, let us look here on the left side, you have the menu and you can choose whatever you struggle with. For example, let's just look at nouns, substantivet, and yeah. Here we have plenty of exercises and let's just choose one to show you an example. En forelder, so to greie foreldre, to voksne. So, and then we can check our answers. Okay, what we wrote was correct, and what I didn't write, that was of course not correct. So, here, and you have a score of 15%. Some of the exercises have explanations, uh, but most of them they will just give you correct or wrong answers. Next resource that I would like to show you is this one. Uh, it is an additional resource uh, to the theory and exercise book of Norwegian grammar. And here is how it works. For example, if we go to substantive and on the right side you will see some exercises. You write so vilken artikel, let's say et eller en, see et bibliotek, et problem, feil, valker, en del, and here I check. The answer is got a gold svar dessverre, yeah, because I was just a little bit too lazy to give all the answers, but here you can find plenty of exercises on different topics. The next website that I want to show you is really great if you want to practice your listening skills. It is this klartale.no and here you can listen to the latest podcasts. It is really an amazing quality sound here, so I totally recommend it. One more resource is our own library and links page. And what you can find here, you can find here uh, plenty of videos about uh, grammar or some tips. And uh, as well, you can find a lot of PDFs. And uh, those PDFs we make uh, when we answer our students' questions. So like, for example, here, 121 irregular verbs. You click on the link and, yep, here you go. So you can just download it and you can print it out or, yeah feel free to share it as well. Yeah. The next one is 
also our own it is our multilingual Facebook page and it is useful for you because here we upload all of our new videos a lot about grammar like for example Norwegian for beginners personal pronouns or 12 tips on how to become good in Norwegian so feel free to watch that and in addition to that you can look at pictures and if you just ignore our personal pictures you can find a lot of useful materials like, like for example this one uh, this one is a post about typical uh, typical mistakes and these mistakes are explained and some other posts can be about grammar for example like this etter, etter på, eller etter at. so here here it comes explained in a very short and concise way so again feel free to use and share and write your comments under the materials yep and the next resource is also a free online resource with a lot of grammar explanations so here you can only find grammar explanations let's look at conjunctions explained in english some of the explanations are in norwegian some of the explanations are in english and they're all in pdf so you can download them the next links i want to share with you are online exercises to both povei and Stein på Stein and Her på Berge. So here I hope that you are familiar with them. If you're not, then please start using them. Here on the left side you have a menu and you can click on the menu and here you can find the exercises, both listening exercises and some uh, grammar exercises and vocabulary. The same thing for Stein på Stein. For example, for chapter 5 here we can find some exercises and here we go, so vocabulary, nationalitetsord, skrift, riktig adjektiv, so here, for example, yeah. and I just check my answers, and yes, you of course will get what is right and what is wrong, and the same thing for här på Berge. Yeah, the next resource uh, is created by Antenu, it is called Norwegian on the Web, and here you can find plenty of lessons. So you can see one, two, three, four, five, and ten. So and if I go to lesson two or chapter two and start with can, it normally starts with some listening, and that is a great quality again. And what you listen, you can also read on the screen. And after you have read and listened to everything, you can go to grammar. You can practice your pronunciation and you can have some listening exercises. And last but not least, NRK TV. Here you can find plenty of films, TV series, programs, uh, whatever you like, whatever you are interested in. And many of them, many of them have subtitles. So you can both watch TV watch the news, watch whatever programs you like and learn Norwegian at the same time. So here is a great resource for practicing your language. I hope you've learned something from this video. If there is anything else out there that we don't know about, then feel free to write it in a comment to this video. And thanks for watching.